everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you the process of carving a new print. Um, as you may or may not know, I absolutely love printing or block printing and screen printing and etching and all those techniques. I really enjoy doing them and today I'm doing a block print based on one of my favorite Inktober drawings from last October, so October 2019, and I have to admit, I am in a little bit of a snail phase, because <laughs> this sounds so strange, sorry, but since about October and Inktober, uh, I've been doing a lot of drawings with snails, because they are very low pressure and very weird and funny and move in weird ways. And so, I decided to make a lot of snail drawings, I think. <laughs> and I'm going to insert a few images of them right now. During Inktober, I did at least three drawings. I think I may have more, but at the very least, three drawings. So, pattern, dragon, frail, and I think another one. I think I have four. And I think I have a fifth one that also has a snail in it. So, as you can see, in this, during the span of one month, I did at the very least five snail-filled drawings. And then throughout the time, or the months, from October 2019, to now, June 2020, I've been doing quite a few snail drawings. And a few are turning into prints, um, so I hope you enjoy snails. <laughs> um, and yeah, um, today it is based on the drawing called, or that I used the prompt word dragon for um, in October. And I really like dra dragons. I think I have already told you this during the Inktober flip through. And I really like dragons. I really like a few books on dragons that I had as a kid that had super detailed drawings, like very cool looking ones. And I always felt so intimidated to try to draw dragons because of that that I decided, since the word was dragon, why not make it low pressure, because I think even if I love dragons and I really want to push myself to learn to draw dragons, I don't think a daily challenge like Inktober that has so much pressure associated with, with sharing what you do, I didn't think it was a great time to learn how to draw like a tr traditional dragon. So I decided to draw a snail transforming into a dragon. So a snail that has a beginning of wings and that is looking very mad. And it also has a tiny human figure on the bottom left because it, it would give it scale. But I thought that for the print, the figure would just take away from the image of the snail. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking super seriously about a very silly drawing slash print. But yeah, I really, I really like this drawing because it takes two things that I really like. One that is very intimidating to draw and one that is very fun and, you know, uh, therapeutic to draw. <laughs> if I can say that about snails. <laughs> So it was a lot of fun to carve this, but yeah, um, this print, I thought I was going to do a regular print run, but then I thought this image looks better like on a t-shirt, so I do not have t-shirts to print this on yet, <laughs> I'm not ready to make that invent investment, but I tried it on one of my t-shirts, not t-shirts, it's like a tank top that I use for working out. Um, but I'm going to, to insert a picture as well of the printed version on the shirt. And I think it looks way better on a shirt than on paper. 
I think I also am going to try and print this on sketchbooks, but I'm not sure. Because it's a very striking image, at least for me, because on one side it makes me laugh, on the other it is a little bit creepy. <laughs> I have to admit that. And I don't think it is something that I would hang on the wall. But yes, I would like to print this on shirts. If I ever do, I will make a video about printing on shirts because that's a whole nother way of printing. I did, had, I did have a little bit of trouble with the amount of ink and things not printing well and stuff. But I do think it is going to work out. But I'll let you know if I ever do shirts or I would love to do like cotton tote bags. Because those I know where to buy, like, ethically made in organic cotton, and I know where to buy those, I don't know where to buy the shirts, so I may just do snail tote bags. <laughs> Let's see, it's, a, it's a, no, a whole nother topic, but I will make videos about that if I ever do them, if I ever do that. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you love snails as much as I do. And I hope you find it funny as much as I do to have a snail become a dragon. <laughs> a slimy dragon, which sounds really strange right now. But yeah, um, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you next week, hopefully. Bye!